something that I've been thinking about for a little bit of time now, which I think is very common in the private sector, is this idea that we have multiple coaches for different facets of the sport. And even in the college sector, like for, like say, football, for example, you got your wide receivers coaches, you got your defensive specialists, you got your quarterbacks coach. And I'm not saying these are a bad thing, but it's almost like why? Why do we have to have all of these different coaches for all these different parts of the sport when at the end of the day, the goal is the goal? And I think about this specifically with like strength, being a strength coach. I think the idea that our job is to only get them strong is really just selling ourselves short. Like if we are, if we have no understanding of the sport and all we're doing is trying to get the athletes strong in the weight room and that's not translating to the field in ways that are more than just metrics, but actually translating to the field, like can the person actually be a good athlete? I think that's on us as the coach. So something that I like really have been trying to challenge myself this year and this has been kind of easy for me because I am a baseball player, but i am also been far removed from the game. So just kind of getting back into the skill acquisition side of the sport is something that I think a lot of strength coaches could benefit from. I'm not saying that you had to have had like this really successful playing career in your sport and know all the ins and outs of the sport, but just having a basic understanding of the sport is going to be super valuable and also just a way to connect with your athletes, right? Like when they come into you, they don't really care about working out. They care about how they can get better at their sport. So if your goal as a strength coach is to only get your athletes strong, I feel like we're selling ourselves short. We need to actually be good coaches in multiple facets of the game and then just not blame the other coaches when they're not doing their job. Because at the end of the day, we're all working with the athlete and if they're not getting better, it's our fault.